we're going to do is take a look at using Google Slides for student portfolios or hyper slides, um, whatever you want to call it, but using it as a way to, for kids to um, gather resources, gather, gather information that they've created and kind of put it in one stop shopping. You know? All right, uh, the first thing I'm going to show you here is, if you didn't know this, file page setup. You can change the size of these slides. Um, and you can change them to custom if you wanted to. You can make them eight and a half by 11 if you wanted to, to make it like a sheet of paper. But let's get going to the first tool here. And the first one I have is the Google URL shortener, which is right here. That kind of reminds me of WinZip from back in the day. But if this is the splash page or the first page, what I would do is I would have kids use this as, um, think of it as like a table of contents. So they can hyperlink two slides, different slides in the presentation. So I can hyperlink this to slide, this is, Slide number two over here, the URL shortener, so I can hyperlink that there, hit apply, and now if somebody clicks on it, it'll take them right to slide two. The Google URL shortener, uh, and if you click on that link, it'll take you to here, uh, allows me to shorten URLs, and when I click on it, it's this easy, right? There's the shortened URL, but I can also grab a QR code, and I can drag that right into my presentation, all right? So if you want this presentation, either scan that QR code or go to this link. All right, I'll leave that there. All right, the next thing, Slides Carnival. Slides Carnival is a great place for templates, uh, for different, you know, if you're doing creative, inspirational, or simple uh, Google Slides presentations, there's a ton of free templates kids can use here. And if you click on this link here, it'll take you to ways that you can use the built-in templates from Google to work with, uh, make them more accessible for people with disabilities. All right, so there's a whole write-up about using uh, those templates in built into Google Slides. All right, let's jump onto the third one. The third one here is Vocaroo, and Vocaroo allows you to record your voice, blah, blah, blah. Allow your blah, 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 blah. I can hit stop. I can grab the URL or I can even embed the QR code from that recording. And now I have a way to get kids' students' voice into the presentation. All right, I can just take this, copy it, and go into the presentation and paste it. And control K, hyperlink that. So there, that, that's aw that awesome recording is right there. All right, so that's Vocaroo. Aw app is a web whiteboard, all right? And Aw app, I can hit draw and blah, 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 blah. And over here, you get the option then to uh, download the image, or you can do a screenshot and pull it right back into your presentation. All right. Screencastify is the tool I'm using right now to make this recording. But uh, you, uh, Google Drive uh, is now embedded into, like if you go to insert a, um, a video, you can pull from Google Drive now. So your kids don't have to upload videos to YouTube. They can stay within your domain and inside uh, the student's drive, which is really nice. It creates a whole lot more flexibility. Uh, and I here I have a video that I pulled from Google Drive. But kids can also do insert image and take a snapshot. So if they're doing math work, they don't have to type it up. They can write it on a piece of paper and take a picture of it. All right, let's go down the list here. Uh, if you go to images.google.com and search for transparent images. Uh, let's search for a ruler. And under tools, I can change the color to transparent. All right, and now I can pull one of these transparent, and this is the one I picked. Make sure you click on it first, and then drag that. You want to see this uh, gray and white checkered background when you pull over the image, so you know it's transparent. But now, if I were to draw a line, all right, I could take this ruler on top of it, and I can see how long that line is. All right, same thing with this protractor. Easy GIF is a way to take a bunch of pictures and convert them into an animated uh, photo, or you can even take video and convert it to a GIF. Now, the nice thing about that is it'll just loop within your presentation over and over again. Um, Cloud Convert is a tool to, once again, you can make uh, GIFs from, uh, out of a video but also you can convert uh, files to like PDFs and things like that. So there's a lot of resources in there with Cloud Convert. All right, and the last thing I have here is the Explore button. Uh, this is great for the younger kids too. If they just hit the Explore button and search for 
let's say cats, you can search the internet right within Google Slides. So you don't have to go out to uh, managing tabs and things like that. All right, you can pull it, images right in here and you can also um, cite from this as well. All right, so let me know how else you're using Google Slides to build student portfolios or hyperslides.